Hello everybody, it's me Sugar Song as always, and of course with me today is a homeless person. Just joking, it's just Allie. Oh yeah, yeah, I don't have a home, I live in a cardboard box in the center of Maine. <laughs> in the center. the center of Maine? <laughs> it's right in the middle right of the road. By, right by the Brown Palace? Yeah, that just, that's just right where I park my box, right in the middle of the road. Oh, that's funny. So this, this box's clue is where people learn to listen to their hearts, and it's got this man in uh, with the, wearing a beret, and he's got a stethoscope up to a very alive heart. So my guess was France, and my guess was correct. <laughs> I was usually good at it. I mean, come on. The other, the other clue from last time, too, helped us a lot. Mm -hmm. Which I completely forgot about, but it says something about the city of love, so, you know, it's figured. Yeah. There the most expensive bottle of wine in the world was a 73-year-old French red. It sold for $558,000. dollars markers in here? No. Want to grab those markers? Our, our we'll new... do, right? Yeah. Rawr. Those ones will probably be easier to see on... <laughs> On camera, anyways. I tried. Fail. I'm just joking. <laughs> Markers today. I have a glimpse. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, we'll find out. Find out soon enough <laughs> why I am terrified. <laughs> Wait, where did that? Oh, you got the sheet over there. Here's your pamphlet, my dear. Thank you. I'm gonna take my glasses off because glare. Yeah. I want y'all to be able to see my beautiful eyes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> From your glasses. <Yeah. laughs> Notice something? We're both not wearing glasses today. I will put my contacts in because me and Katie played Beat Saber earlier. Uh, <laughs> Anyways. Uh, ooh, what? This, like, really caught my eye right off the bat. All right, we'll start with that one. Les sables de la mer couleur. Oh, Watch France. out! The main ingredient in this famous French shortbread is sand. But, da, 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 da. this is delicious sand. Sables are century old cookies made by rubbing cold butter into flour and sugar to form tiny particles of dough. Given the dough's striking resemblance to sand, these fine golden breadcrumbs can be called sebles, which is the first French word for sand. So yes, they are made with sand, but talking, very, but we're talking the very buttery and very edible kind, not the kind you find on the beaches of the French Riviera. I did not say that right. Woo! They literally broke apart, so I'm trying to get us old cookies here. <laughs> and you couldn't tell. I was like, really? <laughs> there's three cookies on each side, and both of the top ones broke. I'm like, <sighs> come on, come on. <laughs> okay. They have cute little, like, 1888 marks stamped on the top of them, because that's the year that they were made. Hmm. Very simple. I feel like. They would have this with coffee. Mm-hmm. Because it's really dry. Mm-hmm. That's why they call it edible sand. <laughs> I look to my right. I freaking see my <laughs> background. Hmm. I feel like that's what I look like in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I just wake up and there I am. Oh, man. These are good, though. Mm-hmm. If you guys are wondering, I have Baby Yodas as my background, some of them anyways, and they're dressed up like Disney princesses. And that's what I look like when I wake up, except far less cute. <laughs> far less. It goes off into the distant cold. <laughs> right. I know, I needed a drink after that one. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. They probably heard it because I'm like, because they're in the time. Really lean into that one. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Do so you want me to see if there's how many sweet and salty? Yeah, in just that one just caught my eye. I bet there's a lot of sweet in here. All right. So there's a uh, salty, sweet. That was a sweet, salty. Sweet, salty, sweet, 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 sweet. These are gonna be sweet. Yeah, I just, I was just getting them. Crock, madam. 
Okay, so should we do two sweet then to every... Because there's only, like, what, three salty? Um, one, two, three, yes. Okay, so, like, two sweet then? Yes. Okay. Truffles Bar by Mathis. Cocoa Dusted Truffles. There's not really a lot that we gotta be talking about that, you know, obviously. It just shows how... It tells how they make them. And then... It was, you know, made... Is your edible that turd? <laughs> found out how ganache was made, which, if y'all don't know, is, like, on very extravagant cakes, it's what they mold little things into. Yep. I know what it is. Because I literally Yeah, because your mom's literally, like, Martha Stewart, and then you grew into a little, like, Martha Stewart in the making. <laughs> Not really. I took a food course when I was in high school, and we learned how to make fondant and um stuff like that i guess fondant's different than ganache because ganache would be more liquidy whereas fondant is more moldable into making in like your stuff and i actually came home and from what i learned from that particular course i made my own fondant at home which took forever mom helped me um and i made her a beautiful cake with like flowers and like grass and all this crap and I was just done with it and went to go get her and someone brought London in and she ate half the cake and I was so glad I made it out of red velvet instead of chocolate was it that chocolate? day. chocolate? Oh my gosh. It was red velvet. Did you know that red velvet, the red in red velvet, it, red, bleh, red velvet is made of the shells of beetles? Mm. That's where they get there. This was actually really good, but it was really, like, I don't know. It was really it's very hard rich. to handle. Because like, it was, like, melting in your hands. And it was slipping. That's why I was over here, like... Like, uh, <laughs> like, it really tasted like... Like, if you would just take, um, budge mm -hmm. and then put it into something. Like, coated it in, um, cocoa powder. Yeah. And then put it on... And then ate it under the hot sun. Okay. Chip time. I think it's in the front. See, Bill, chips, sabia, vinegar. <laughs> oh, I bet it's made out of vinegar. So it's probably, yeah. Uh, Vineyards, Paris, is famous for Italian restaurants. But what about the city of Orleans, lying directly between the two? Hmm. Yeah, but it's famous for vinegar. Okay, so yeah. <gasps> These have MSG. Let's see how great they taste. Yep. Very, very flavorful. Yeah, I can really taste the vinegar, but it's not like, oh, vinegar, you know? <laughs> but, like, it's like if you would get the salt and vinegar type chips here in America, I think these ones would taste way better. Yeah, because the salt and vinegar, <clears throat> excuse me, chips that we get here, they, like, slap you in the face with vinegar. And they're, like, you eat it, and then you're over here, like... And then you're like, why does that person's, like, breath taste so weird? Breath taste? <laughs> yeah. Like, you go, and they're like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you like, can, like it's vinegar. so <laughs> potent that you can taste it. Have you ever heard that? Onion breath. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Like, so, like, that's the same thing. Smell breath. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. I meant to say smell, but it's <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was trying to say well, tasting. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> um, try these little boys. All right, Quasu Boule. If you love strawberries, thank France. In the 14th Thanks, century. Thanks, France. In the 14th century, <laughs> French royals were the first to farm the fruit. King Charles V had a whopping 1,200 strawberry plants in his garden. And in the late 18th century, it was France who crossbred two New World strains, the Virginia strawberry and the Chilean white strawberry, to create the modern strawberry you know and love today. Merci. Beaucoup. Galiget. I don't know what that means. Hold on. Oh, that's what that means. Hmm. I was like expecting like more like a crunch. Oh, I probably should have written chewy strawberry candy. Um, <laughs> that was my bad. <laughs> I was like, I was expecting like a little, little crunch because like how they look are kind of like 
uh, these little, like, candies. And I was, like, expecting to go crunch and then, like, have the powder, like, go in my mouth. But, I don't know. I don't know if I like the gummy form. I think that would have been more, like, <sighs> you know, if they would have pow powdered me. <sighs> powdered me. Powdered you. Mini rolls. <laughs> mini rolls. Okay. Ooh. Raspberry, mini roll, cake roll, with raspberry filling. So it's basically like a French Twinkie. Oh. It probably doesn't have How dare you Twinkies. Blood guts and the same ingredients that are in explosives. Yes, people. That's what they put in our Twinkies that we have here in America. That's so good. Exactly. <laughs> Surely. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm a little more loud. This is a famous French dessert. Okay. Looks like a shortbread roll. That's what it said it was. I still have... Already been into it, so I don't know. You're very hurry. Mm. See, I love real raspberry flavor. This is pretty good. Artificial raspberry, I'm not a fan of. But I can tell that this is real raspberry because I can taste the difference and I like it. It's very sweet, though. It is pretty sweet, but it's not as sweet as like what Twinkies would be. Mm -hmm. Nowhere near. <laughs> Okay, so I see what we need to do here. Uh, how many are in here? I think three different candies. Do you want to do these first before the uh, this one? Or do you want to do, uh, well, do you want to do this one next? And then, like, do this, and then do this, and then this? Or do you want to do this, we can do this, and then this, and then this? We can do these, this one, okay. this one, this one, and then this one. Oh, there's one more? Yeah, there's a whole lot. Chocolate bar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Focus so this camera. These ones? Uh, Tippage Blades. There's like four. Cola. It's sour cola bars. Interesting. I don't know how that's gonna be. Oh, shit, I read. Is there anything else about them? Okay, picture this. In 1948, World War II is over and France is liberated, in part thanks to American troops. The Coca-Cola company decides to introduce Coke to the French market, hoping to capitalize on America's good standing with France. What do you think happened next? Did the French even try it? Did they spit it out in disgust? Did they relish it with wide-eyed wonder? The answer is all of the above. Coke's French debut got all sorts of reactions. Some folks poured it into the gutter. That'd probably be me, honestly. Some spit it out, and some sipped it with a smile. Despite the initial mixed reactions, France has since come to love the drink. Today, it's just as popular there as it is in the U.S. Okay. Mm -hmm. I honestly don't like Coke. I Coke. like Coke products. Don't get me wrong. I just don't like Coke. I agree. We think you'll end up smiling, even if it's through puckered lips. Yeah. I'm great. Oh, forgot. Sorry. Uh. Mm. <laughs> nope. That would like those. You so. see this? This is not a smile. I told you I'd be one of the people. I told you I'd be. What is in this? I just <laughs> I told you I'd be one of the people to put it down the gutter. My face is like turning red. It's really soury. It's stuck over in the corner of my mouth. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. Uh, what are you doing, friends? You should keep on doing that. I think he actually might like it. He likes Coke. But does he like sour Coke? Oh, true. I didn't think of that. <laughs> <laughs> that was very disgusting. Oh, yeah. Gross. Like, the worst. And I don't like Coke. But I don't think this would make me like Coke. I can see why they were like, ugh. No. Mm -mm. Now, we have a thing in America that's called, like, root beer barrels. That's made out of, like, root beer and stuff like that. And those aren't too bad. And I don't like root beer. But I like root beer barrels. So I thought, maybe I might like this because of that pat. That's packed. Packed. Let me just not talk, right? Okay. Um... I can't get it out of my teeth. I know, it's stuck in mine too. Ooh, caramel. Caramel There's more of these as well. They say. <laughs> Salted butter caramels. Uh, okay, there's nothing really. So 
salt. Uh, so the caramel is a classic, right? Yeah. Yeah. The flavor is less than 50 years old. Interesting. <laughs> Interesante. Now, if these are good as the caramels that are at our, like, little uh, dime store, I will be, like, stoked. Mm. They're getting stuck in my teeth. Mm -mm. I mean, they're good. They're caramel. But they're not as good as the ones at my local store. Tastes like spoiled milk. Will I have to get used to that flavor? Why? For one of our up and coming videos? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, so there's four of these as well, but there's two different kinds of flavors. Whoops. So there's one for each of us. There's going to be tropical, peach tea, and or cola. Um, so we have... Oh my gosh. I hope it's not cold. I think these are like the French warheads. <gasps> oh god. Okay, well here we With go. Flowers, I mean flavors. Flavors they have okay, so we have I'll do the peach right obviously is peach and okay. cola. So we don't have the tropical one. We have peach tea and cola. Uh, which one are we gonna do first? The red one. Cola? Alright. Another sour cola. Okay, I guess we'll just Did you guys hear that? I bit into it and went pop. Oh yeah. Is this gum? <laughs> Choose with sour filling. No. Oh yeah. I can't finish that one. Because it has the cola flavor. But here's the thing with these ones. They're different than the last ones that we just had. It has more sour flavoring in it than the other ones. So, like, the potent of the sour overpowers the actual taste. <laughs> so that kind of helps it a little. Where am I going to be putting trash? Uh, I just have it right here. Mm. You're eating it all? Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. what I like about that sour cola candy in particular is that you don't really you had a chance cola. to get rid of the sour. Yeah, like you, if you just swallow the sour filling, then that's fine. It's gone. This, it's never. All right, here's the peach tea. See, I told you. That's like green please. <laughs> They are more sour. And, um, I mean, I almost can't handle it. I know she can't. But I'm I a can handle spicy. But sour? I'm a sour fiend. And those are not, I mean, they're better than the sour ones that we have here because they're actually sour. But see, do like that. I swallow the sour filling. That's gone. My eyes are open fully. Literally, though, when I was trying to read what it was, I was trying to open my eyes, but I was like this, and I could not, so I literally had to pry my eye open. <laughs> okay. That, now it's a good thing that we saved this for next, because this is going to cleanse our palate from that. That, I mean, for the amount of sour, I'm like a sour fanatic. Like, how much she is for uh, hot stuff, I am the exact same for sour stuff. So, like... Originally with that cola one, the reason why I couldn't finish that one is because of the cola taste. But for the sour impact, as you saw with the peach one, nothing. I mean, like, it was sour. Don't get me wrong. It's way more sour than the warheads that we have here. But um, for the most part, like, it was like Painfully, nothing. painfully sour. Like, it was painful. That's the Pain. kind of sour for a sour challenge that you want. Yes. And I did a sour challenge with the stuff that we have here. It comes nothing compared to this crap. Well, yeah, like when we did that one video. Yeah. And it wasn't sour at all. Yeah, no. Now, when you're doing a sour challenge, you want it to be a challenge. You want to not, yeah. like, have to eat yeah. the sour item. 
And that would have been one of the star items that we should have got. Because yeah. then I'd be like, no, <laughs> no. not again, please. Oh, excuse okay, me. The ones here, though, you just, you know, they just burn your tongue. Yeah, and they're not really all that, like, like they, they're okay. But they're not like that. This is Fritz of Fromage de Chagrin. This is, ew, ew, floral cheese flavored potato chips. What? I guess they smell like cheese. <laughs> Uh, the average person in France eats 60 pounds of cheese per year. France is my country. It sounds like a lot, but they have an incredible number of different varieties to try. I like cheese a lot. Just let you know. One bite of these chips, and you might just find yourself wishing for 60 pounds worth. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, it's not bad. It's not as cheesy as I thought it would be. What are you talking about? This is like literal solid mac and cheese in my mouth. <laughs> but it's kind of reminding me of like the flavor of something I threw up a long time ago. And that's oh, what's making me sick. Oh, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> that's why my first reaction, like when I first hit my tongue, I was like. <laughs> you're like. like <laughs> 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 oh, man. <clears throat> on, I mean, it's right. okay. I mean, it does taste like mac and cheese. I do agree with you on that. But I'm a cheese maniac too, so like it could have been more cheesier. But we hope everything. it was floral notes of cheddar. So we coat all of our stuff, you know, here in America with right. excess amount of powder. All the time. Time for Le Fancy Jacot Almond <sighs> Truffle. These are... Oh, these truffles, my gosh. This, this is probably going to be like how the older one was, because it kind of looks like that. It is almond flavored, but it's almond flavored. Uh, in France, there's no such thing as too many almonds. One peek inside a Parisian um, sweet shop is all the proof we need. In the pastry section, you'll find croissants coated in sugary sliced almonds. And doughy puffs filled with a luscious almond cream. I can still taste that cheese in my tongue. Blah, blah, blah. Then there's candy coated almonds, candy fruit and almond jellies. Um, all Time to things. trigger all the people. Want to taste and you'll be just as nuts for almond sweets as the French are. Triggering everyone because I'm using <laughs> I'm using a needle type. Uh, well, well, like what uh, would be considering scissors? sewing scissors to cut everything open, like I've been doing from the very beginning. Oh my god, <laughs> triggering everybody! Am I super full already? Already. Mm. Round the mat. These are instantly. You can tell these are not made for their sweet flavor. I like this. Mm -mm. It's got a thicker coating of cocoa powder, which is the immediate bitter flavor upon contact with the taste buds. <laughs> I definitely taste the almonds. Oh. <laughs> it I is ate, not sweet, though. That's what it is. I ate half of that. I did not like that. <laughs> I am not... I like almonds. But I'm not a dark chocolate fan. And I bet this was dark chocolate, wasn't it? <sighs> Man. Oh. Was it? Let me see. I don't know. Because I, I don't. I can't read it. It doesn't say. The cocoa dusted truffles are comprised of a slow melting rich filling which is dusted with high quality cocoa powder bitterness of cocoa oh, the bitterness of the cocoa surface and the creamy inside is a fantastic combination <laughs> whatever you say france i don't believe you all right last salty item is another one of Sibel's, which was the same brand as the um vinegar, vinegar one chips. cheese flavored tube snacks what's all the cheese oh, we have shocking news are you sitting down no. Okay, here goes. Uh -huh. In France, people don't really snack. 
perfect. You didn't even see it. There was a gas <laughs> there. You, this was perfect. We know. We know. Sounds crazy, right? But let's be clear. The French still enjoy munching on chips, crisps, and crackers. They just save them. Okay, Casper. What? Throw in this truffle. Like, it was sitting there, and it was like... <laughs> He's like, he probably like... Oh! <laughs> what, did he follow you from Dairy Queen or what? Probably. <laughs> they just saved them for a pre-dinner course called the aperitif. Oh, which is kind of like appetizer. Well, there you go. They have a snack. They appetize. <laughs> okay, then, France. Hmm. Hmm. What do they taste like? Cheeto puffs. Yeah, but you can well, tell not that even that. They can tell you can tell that they're like better quality though. <laughs> like okay, the difference between this and Cheeto is more like Fritos in a way, but that? they're not as crunchy as Fritos. But the, okay, the best way to describe these, they're like the Cheeto flavoring without all the extra power. They also are kind of like. Uh, Fritos, because they're more crunchy than regular, like, puff Cheetos, I would consider them more like the crunchy Cheetos, the ones that are, like, more, like, yeah. noodled-type looking ones, and this one has, like, an air pocket in here, so they're kind of like the, like, those certain Fritos that are, like, the witch fingers, you know what I'm talking about? It's supposed to be tubes, but I guess they were, like, pressed flat. So, like, they're kind of like the witch fingers in a way, but not as crunchy as witch fingers. You know what I'm talking about? The bugles, for people that don't call them witch fingers. Oh. Oh, oh okay, because you put them on the end of your fingers, and then and they, they look go... like, yeah. Okay, yes, perfect. Bugles is a perfect, um, representation. Description. Yes. Yeah. But they're not as crunchy as bugles. They're yeah. more like They've got the Cheeto airy. texture. The Cheeto puff and regular Cheeto texture, but... The look and feel of a bugle. Mm -hmm. There's che there's cheese bugles now too. I'm not surprised actually, because like they have the regular cheddar and then they have the white cheddar and then they have the regular ones, and then they also have barbecue flavor. I know because I like bugles. <laughs> I actually don't remember the last time I tried bugles. Last item, samoys or kamoy. I don't know. Dark chocolate with sea salt crystals. It's literally dark chocolate with sea salt. I like sea salt. Dark chocolate, not so much. You've never had chocolate this fancy before. Oh, I beg to differ. This special bar contains crystals of fleur de sel, a gourmet French sea salt. When highly concentrated seawater evaporates, a delicate crust of crystal salt flowers forms. Trained workers called paludiers use special wooden rakes called du fleurs to gently collect this crust. The process is extremely slow. The most productive marshes only produce two pounds per day, making for the sale very expensive. It's been dubbed the caviar of sea salt. So, so let me get this straight. We're eating crusty salt? When blended with a decadent and dark chocolate, it makes for an extra luxurious experience, unlike any other, as you're about to find out. So... Yes, we are eating the finest, the caviar of sea salt. So this was like a full thing, and then there was like a little piece where it was like, looked like it was, oh, sorry. <laughs> I was just going to be like, <laughs> okay, so this is the whole thing. It was like in the square, and then there was like two edges where like, they kind of like perforate different ways, so I like, oh, perfect. That's how perfect, that's why they're perfect. Just saying. Wasn't me this time. I like that. Mm. I'm not a fan of chocolate or dark chocolate. I'm a fan of chocolate, but not dark chocolate. I'm surprised you didn't see me amongst the expensive crusty salt because <laughs> I'd be looking crusty these days. <laughs> like one, I'm crusty, but I'm also like priceless. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I believe you. All this chocolate and cheese. Chocolate and cheese, that's basically all we've had except for the exception of the strawberry and the vinegar. Mm. Reload all this crap in there. Want to grab your thing over there? Or our thing over there? Yes. <clears throat> mm. 
You can do your first while I'm looking at the clue to the next box. Okay. Okay, clue to the next month box. Next month, an expedition is in store. No. I already know what it is. I already know what it is. Down the Rio. Oh. We'll search from shore to shore. Not for critters, for something even more rare. Chilies, passion fruit, and yums beyond compare. It's gotta be Brazil. <laughs> Didn't we already have Brazil? Yeah, that's why I was like, it can't be Brazil. But the Rio, down the Rio Grande? River? <laughs> Rio Root? It could be Chile? I feel like it's somewhere in South America, though. It's gotta be. Okay. Alright. <laughs> the one ends uh, sharper than the other end, just to let you know. Oh, he's... So, mm. um, as Allie's doing hers, uh, just a reminder of everybody, I have a few more videos that are coming out, hopefully more Pokemon stuff with Allie. Obviously, I haven't done it for a while, but I have backups of the stuff that we already did. I just have to work on it because there was something that happened with, like, the video quality and crap like that. Not the quality, but the sound. Um, so I'm trying to get that fixed. And then, um, I also played Hidden Paws Mystery yesterday or something like that and it's kind of rendition to the other hidden paws the one that i played for christmas that had like kind of like christmas themes in there and i talk about that and then um what else is on oh uh also going to be playing a um game with ally it's going to be heroes of the storm and we're going to do a uh challenge with that particular thing hopefully it'll be soon ish before we go on our trip um, but, yeah. <laughs> Allie's never played Heroes of the Storm, and I have, and to make it fair, obviously, I'm gonna play on a harder level, and she's gonna play on an easier level, and we'll take turns doing that when it's time. So, keep on the lookout for that. Make sure you hit that bell icon after you subscribe, so that way you don't miss out on that good stuff. Okay, so, we both picked... The same thing as our favorite. Did you do that? Because I picked it. It was the best one. Right. In my the opinion. vinegar chips. Yes. And um. the second best, mine was obviously the almond flavored truffles. Because I like things that are not too, too sweet. Especially when it comes to things like truffles that are rich. And the, the bitterness of the cocoa powder kind of balances things out for me. Uh, I didn't like that one. But my second best was the cookies that were uh, the sand cookies was my second best the worst for both of us was the same one and i think you can i think you know what that one it was, was. The, the um cola sweet thing i mean the sour the sourness of thing. that particular one was just awful it was very overbearing uh the weirdest one for me was the raspberry thing because i don't know if we have i've ever tried that before mine i had i was torn between two the macaroni and cheese chips obviously the, fl the floral cheddar chips and the salt, the sea salt caramel ones, because it didn't really taste like salted caramel. It tasted more like spoiled milk, chewy spoiled milk. I don't so know was what weird. was up with that, because, like, usually salted caramel is really good, and that was not I mean, salted maybe, caramel. Maybe it was because of what we had eaten before that you particular cleanse your palate, though. Was it right before that one? Yeah, we, we drank, didn't we? Maybe it just didn't. I mean, I maybe know. we didn't we have the sour one before that. No, or maybe no. We, we had, we had, the, we had sour the sour one last. We had the gross that one first. We and had that one first, but we didn't do this one first. We did uh, the other candy first. The other little candy. Did we? Oh no, we did do this one first. Yep, and then we had that one. So I think that like ruined our taste buds. Maybe. Maybe that's why. Right. But I don't know. Anyways, thanks guys. I hope to see you guys soon in the next video and bye!